it's Dominic here and in today's quick tutorial we're going to run through how to update the favicon as well as the web clip in Webflow. So what we're going to do in this instance is click the three little dots and then go to settings. That'll open up the project settings and what we need is this general tab up here. We then scroll down and what we can see here are the dimensions required for the favicon as well as for the web clip. So we need a 32 by 32 and a 256 by 256. We're gonna use Adobe Illustrator for this process, but you can also use a platform like Canva and just set up the dimensions manually. But the reason we're gonna use Illustrator is because we can set it up once and then quickly export the files we need. So we've dropped the client's logo in and what we actually have is a 1080 by 1080 canvas. But using the save for web feature, we can actually change the size to match what's required for those two outputs. So we're gonna use the save for web feature to actually export this logo. And we do that by going file, export, save for web legacy. And then what we can do here is make sure it's on JPEG. Quality doesn't matter too much, but we often use 60. And then for this first one, we can just change it to 32 by 32. And then we're gonna hit save and we can save that out as our favicon file. Next, we can just follow the same process. This time on a Mac, we're using the shortcut command option shift S and we can make this one 256 by 256 and call this one web clip. What we can do is jump back across to Webflow and upload these two files. And you notice that once they change from the Webflow symbol to our updated graphic, we can come up here and click publish publish the changes.